Morning guys, we're starting our day with Yeti tumblers on the trail next to our house. Uh, Eileen is making me hike the trail before I get breakfast, so that's, no. <laughs> that's kind of what I am doing. not. I'm just kidding. We both agreed to do it. Get up this morning. Start off on the trail. It's going to be 27 right now. Two degrees today. Yeah. It's a darn near heat wave in northern Michigan. <laughs> we keep saying that, um, but true. It's, but it's true, though. Right? Yeah. But it's true, though. So yeah. we're out hiking the trail and having our coffee. So really quick, something I have to say about these Yeti cups. We held off on buying them, and we actually got them as a gift. We did not buy them. We do, however, have hydro flasks that we have for water when we're backpacking. Love them. But Yeti, for me, had a bad rap. You know, it comes off as like an uppity, not useful, unnecessary luxury. So I never wanted one. Now that we have one, and I'm getting to finally figure out if it's worth the money, the only big downside I'm really getting right now with these lids is my coffee always comes out, which is kind of annoying. Um, I have the Magfly top on mine, so it has the magnetic um, open, oh, like mag that. Slide or mag? Mag, mag, mag slide. Yeah. Mag slide. Um, but the thing is, with thermoses, one of those good benefits of like a normal thermos, even though it's leaching out the warmth, the outer of it is warm, so you warm your hand, so it's kind of like a twofer. <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's good that you're not losing the heat because that's the whole point of getting a Yeti and having a, a thermos like this, the, the double insulated stainless thermoses. But my fingers are cold. That's not gonna be good. I don't really have a downside. I take it to work with me and I'm on a coffee. Um, I love coffee, so I've tried to cut down my coffee intake. So I drink one of these a day and then I start drinking water, which is good for me. Um, and this will keep hot for, literally hot, for about six hours. Well, it says on the, on the website and on the packaging, 12 hours, but I'd say six to eight. And then it starts kind of descending down. Yeah, I don't really and see it. And then it'll it. be warm at 12. And I put it on my counter at work. And it I is just warm at 12, it. though. But I mean, yeah, it's still warm at 12. Yeah. But I mean, hot at mm -hmm. six. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. But that's it. Okay. Okay. We're going to keep hiking. Okay. So that clip that you saw of Dana panning me as I walked on the trail, while he was filming that, we saw four deer, or I saw four deer, and we just followed their tracks on the suspended walkway. They jumped off of this and leaped into the forest and ran away because of the noise that we were making, which is such a bummer because I would have loved to get some footage of deer to show you guys because it's probably the same pack of deer that come in our backyard all the time. but. It would have been cool to do like a slow motion of them jumping off of this, but it all happened too fast. We're just here at the gazebo, taking a little bit of a coffee break and Dana's taking some pictures for Instagram. I'm the worst about Instagram. I just, I try, but No, I, you, No, he used to be fanatical. Like, he grew his Instagram from nothing to, like, what's the highest you got, 2,800? I was at 2,800, and then I just stopped. And then we, we kind of work bogged us down, and he stopped posting. And then he slowly lost people. Um, for one reason or another, and that's a whole separate topic, but people always do the sub for sub, follow for follow thing. And uh, as soon as they get what they want from you, they unsub you, which is really annoying and frustrating um, from someone who's just trying to grow and um, trying to gather support. And also, like, the numbers don't matter, but sometimes they make you feel good about what you're doing. They give you reassurance. So when he started losing, he got really frustrated and it bothered him a lot. So he gave up on posting for a little bit. And he still posts, he posts pictures here or there, but it's a good way for him to display some of the beautiful things that he sees from his perspective. Since I'm usually the one shooting. <laughs> he has a, he has an i4 too, and he loves sharing his drone photography. So if you don't follow Dana on his Instagram, it's adventure.wrench. Um, it's right on Instagram and it's actually in our description box always. So go check him out, really beautiful drone photography. All right guys. I'm not going to film anymore because I'd like to focus on hiking for a bit. Um, so we're just going to do the rest of our loop and then we'll see you back at the house. 
Hey guys, we got back from hiking. I just got breakfast into the oven. It's a recipe that you will recognize. I did tweak it a little bit, but um, our video goes live at 11 o'clock and we are a couple minutes out from that. So we're gonna have breakfast in the living room and we're gonna watch it on the big TV. Right now, we are watching Dan. This Dan, I wanna welcome y'all back to my home in the sticks. At home in the sticks. If you guys do not follow this man, please go to his channel. He makes us smile and laugh and giggle and we love his updates. He's more of a garden, homestead style channel, but he's awesome. And he's just such a nice guy. Dana's up there working away at the wallpaper. It's turned into being much more extensive projects than I initially thought. I thought I would pound it out and be done with it, so, but... Yeah. What they did was they wallpapered over wallpaper. Well, they and wallpapered. Plastered. Then they plastered. And then they wallpapered again. And then they wallpapered over the plaster. Yeah. I have to score out with a razor blade. And I think, you know what, we waited forever to have a house so we could do these types of projects. So the ones that we can control and we can do, even though they're frustrating, they're taken a long time especially because you guys remember us moving into the house in October and I was doing this project and you just pick it up where you left off and if you get frustrated you move on to something else for the time being but I think we deserve to put the work in. We're gonna go into town. Dana, the method we just showed you that he's doing with the, um, the razor blade, it's working really well but it's hurting his fingers so we're gonna go see if we can find another tool to help basically grip the blade, the razor blade, so that he can do the same thing he's doing because he's making good progress but without hurting his hands. And then we're going to actually stop at an antique store in town too. So I thought Dana was looking for something like this. He said no. No, it's more like this. That's for glass though. But you can actually put a razor blade in it. I know what you're talking about, I just don't, I don't see but it these here. These look pretty thin. Do you think it'll work? Is that the blades for it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, how There's much money is it? There's five blades in It's there. cheap, it's worth a try. Focus, Dana, focus. I love hardware stores. Well, of course you do. Woo! Watch that stuff. Woo! Okay, let's see. Look at all this stuff. Baby. Yeah, they have a good selection of like random camping stuff. Ooh, a little pie maker. I have one, I just need to clean it again. Remember how gross we got it? Oh. Ooh, gun cabinet. Yeah. Glass. This place is already phenomenal and we haven't even stepped foot in the door yet. This cabinet rocks. I could totally use that for my coffee mug collection. I found this little smoker. He wants to put something uh, in the garage up until it's buying a heater to basically just have a little fire to keep it warm in there when he's working on the cars and the boat and stuff. I think you should ask how much it is, babe. I don't know how hot. That's, that's my concern. It's thin metal. Yeah. I don't know how hot you'd be able to get it without it just. That's true. Or 20 blocks for $5, which is a really good deal, but it's just as wet as the wood at home because we have not built a um, wood shed yet to hold our wood. And we also haven't really cut a bunch yet either. So, looks like we're going to the grocery store. Do you like cross country enough to be able to get your own pair? I think it's good exercise. And but the trail right next to us, you wouldn't do it. It's too narrow. No. You know, we'd have to go to like a Hartwick Pines. Yeah, probably not. This lamp table is only five dollars. 
so we are gone about an hour, but not much of a haul to show. I think we got DVDs, some stuff from the hardware store. Not the knife. Not the knife I was tempted by, which I don't think I showed that on camera, but they have this really cool brand called Maverick. I've never seen it. It's nothing crazy um, or high-end, but they had a really cool look to them. They had like an almost an acid-washed um, kind of feel to the blade, the metal, and they were full tang, uh, which is phenomenal to see. So I might have to pick a couple of those up because she said they're going to go on sale. Um, but we got wood, DVDs at the thrift store, and... Uh, Wallpaper removing supplies. Not much of a haul, but that's what happened. Babe, did you steal my tool? No. I'm borrowing it a little. I'll give it back. And Dana is back to the wallpaper, and I'm doing dishes, and then I'm gonna make us some lunch. And uh, basically we're just getting crap done so that later on we can chill and be a little bit lazy. Babe, did you steal my tool? <laughs> 